Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Tristan and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the fear of uploading videos to YouTube. Now there's a lot of people that have a fear of uploading videos to YouTube because it's a public space and lots of people are going to see it. And basically there's a fear of the unknown. What will happen when I upload my video to YouTube how will it be perceived? Will people think it sucks? Will people laugh at me? What will my friends say? If you're thinking these things, you really should ignore them. Now, I know it's easier for me to say, just ignore your instincts and do it. But I know that that's very difficult for a lot of people. I went through it myself and I waited for literally years before I uploaded my first YouTube video. Now if you're one of those people I urge you to upload your content now. No matter what it is, upload something because the quicker that you get through this by uploading your first video, the sooner you can get the ball rolling if you catch my drift. If you're waiting around for something to happen. Typically, it never happens unless you actually do something about it. And that's where I made a difference, a different, like a change in my life was by uploading my first video. Now, it was in the style of a vlog and I was just talking to the camera, really. Uh, I did previously make videos where I was making videos about gaming. I wasn't actually in the videos as such. And I just tried to pretend like I wasn't on camera and I would just play the game. Now, if that's what you're into, uh, that's great. But I know how difficult it can be to literally sit in front of a camera, which feels extremely strange. Because, let's face it, we're not used to speaking to a camera. We're used to speaking to other people. Now, when there's no one there... It's very hard to get your head around that there is actually going to be someone else watching what it is that you're saying. So if you try in your head to imagine having a conversation with another person at the other end of the camera, but that person happens to be yourself, then when you actually upload your video and other people see it, it becomes more natural. Now, I haven't been uploading content for very long and... Just by uploading my first video, it made a massive difference to my confidence. As you can probably tell, I feel a lot more confident in front of the camera. Whereas previously, I was literally terrified and I would not do it. I made every excuse under the sun not to upload a video. And I thought, you know what? There's all these people that have got like millions of subscribers. They're really good at what they do. I suck and there's no point in doing it. And boy, I tell you, was I wrong about that? Because every single person is different and they all have something different to add, something different to say. And everyone's views are different about different things. Therefore, a video that you make is relevant to you and other people will also feel that relevancy when they watch it. Now, if you're thinking about uploading your first video and you're worried about, say, that your friends or your family are going to see it and you're thinking, well, what if they think it's rubbish or if they think you know what if they say something and it makes me feel bad it'll look really stupid well my advice to that is upload the content anyway because believe it or not it takes great guts to upload your content in the first place and that's a massive step ahead of what your friends and family have done so if they're going to laugh at you I mean, they, they're silly for laughing at you, really, because you've created something that's amazing to you. You've done something. They haven't done it. You have. And you've actually taken that step. You've taken that courage. And you've, you've pulled something off that they haven't pulled off. Now, what you typically will find is that friends and family, in your head, you think that they're going to laugh at you. But nine times out of ten probably 10 times out of 10, they usually support you and they think what you're doing is awesome and they think, how can I get in on it too? Because that's something that would be very useful for me as in my personal development. Now there's a common misconception that when you upload your content to YouTube, 
you're going to get a lot of hate straight away and I disagree with that statement because I haven't really had a lot of hate on my videos I mean maybe it's different for me uh, opposed to other people that are uploading their content but personally I'm not getting a lot of problems when I'm actually online you will always get somebody who verbally attacks you and they leave a nasty comment and dislikes and things like that but usually that's because they're insecure people and they couldn't do it if they wanted to they can't upload the content like you can you're actually putting some effort in and they don't like it because they're not so i urge you to just do it anyway because you'll typically be overwhelmed with support, especially if you're making genuine videos and you're actually trying to do stuff that you want to do. Now, what should you make for your first video? Why not give it a try like I did and make a vlog style video? Now, it can be about absolutely anything. If you're having problems with your personal development and you're quite scared to upload to YouTube as your first video, make the video about the fact that you were scared to upload to YouTube. Yes, I understand that you're scared, but when you actually upload that content, you will feel like this exhilaration, this amazing accomplishment, because you have accomplished something. And there's nothing better than when you upload it and when you get your first comment and your first likes and people saying, that was great, keep up the good work, and see that you're trying really hard I'm one of your first subscribers and all that it's it's such a nice feeling and the community on YouTube is a wonderful place it is really cool it's a lot of fun and you feel like you just want to come back there's people that want you to come back and you end up basically making lots of friends they're not real friends in terms of where you meet up with them every day unless you actually meet somebody that you want to be friends with but they are people that will support you all the way through to the end. And if you're looking to upload content for the foreseeable future, that's a very, very long time. So why are you not uploading to YouTube? You should really do it. I urge you highly to upload a video. No matter what it's about, just upload something. You'll feel so much better about yourself. I know that I did, and I, I basically am living proof of that if you actually do something about these fears that you've got about uploading, about what people think, that you can overcome them and in the end you don't really care what people think and you just want to do it because you want to do it. So if you haven't already uploaded a video, or if you have and you're struggling, keep going because you will get through to the other side. The other side is a brilliant place and you will be so much happier for it. So guys, thanks for watching. My name's been Tristan, and I hope that some of the information in this video has been useful to you. Um, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment below and tell me how you guys are feeling, uh, whether you're actually uploading videos now, or like if this video has helped you at all, because I'd really like to know. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Guys, if you stayed to the end of the video, I've got an extra tip for you. If you're struggling with the actual filming of videos and you're scared of making videos, you don't actually have to upload them to YouTube. My advice to you is to literally go around your house and record yourself, talk to the camera, and then review the footage back on your computer. And if you don't like it, you can always delete it. Or even better still, why not archive it as you keep making videos, watch back what you did and you'll find that you've made a massive improvement. So hopefully that advice has been useful to you. It's been awesome and I'll see you guys soon.